Greetings, fellow outsiders. Welcome to part three of Stray. I don't have a lot to say. I'm just going to get into it. I'm excited to get back into this game. It's been really fun so far. Obviously, obviously it's beautiful, but it's also had some really fun, like, secrets. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we are now going to put the transceiver up that Momo gave us. So let's go and do that after we knock over all of his books <laughs> and cause chaos. Okay. What's that noise? Hey! Hey! He locked me out! <laughs> that jerk! <laughs> Momo! Alright. Hi, dear! Look at his little paws moving. I love this game. Alright, let's go! Meow! Rooftops. Oh, so we're just in a different section of the city then. Okay, well then I'm kind of glad I spent that time exploring. There are the Zerks, that's what they're called, right? I'm going to have to avoid them. And I've done a pretty bad job of doing that so far, so. Meow left, at, left all to attract enemies. Why would I want to attract them? What am I? Oh, this is, I went in without a game plan. I went in without a game plan. I think what I have to do is I have to left alt and then jump on the thing. Okay, so they're all, no, 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 I almost had him. Where do I go after that though? I was already going to be like an hour long playthrough of me just trying to get past this one section. Where am I going? Where am I going? Go! Hurry up! <gasps> okay, we made it past there. Hi! You can't get me! Ha 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 ha! I'm going to drop this paint on them. Go get the paint. <laughs> oh, they're eating the paint can. Look at that. So I guess they do eat metal. Huh. What an interesting creature. I wonder if anything does like that big uh, eat metal. Cause I know there are things that can corrode metal and probably some microorganisms because microorganisms you can find one that can survive and do pretty much anything they're terrifying <laughs> so maybe these are just microorganisms that have evolved um to be able to eat metal who knows okay so what do we have here i hear them are they around hopefully not don't you guys hear something? That's not us, is it? <gasps> That's not us. Hey guys, what's up? <gasps> oh, 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 they can get up here, they can get up here. Oh, go, 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 go. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, we made it past that one section. I'm assuming they can't get up. Oh, this is stressful. This is so stressful. Are they up here? Oh, memory. Okay. We got a memory. What do we got, B12? Tell me the rundown. 
city is full of neon. I was it wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps and neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and not long after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Hmm. Okay. Am I missing memories? I wish I... Ah, I wish I had gotten all the memories. Well, maybe I'll get most of them. Who knows? So who are the oppressors? Hey! We're up here now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. We can move it. Okay, so we can move that too, or we can move this to get over there, maybe? Let's try moving it. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. So my question is, is if it can corrode through metal, it's just a matter of time then before then it gets, they get to the rest of the city, right? I see you down there. What are they eating? They're just eating the trash bags. <laughs> Meow. Whoa, that's a lot of zombification. So I wonder if it is like a microorganism or something, like a bacteria that's growing and can create spores and creatures. I'm scared, do you guys see any? I don't see any, right? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. But I can get up here now. Can I go down? Oh no, I hear him, I hear him, I hear him. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Oh shoot. I'm dead. Hack door, hack door, do it. Ah, look at that, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Oh shit. Oh, shit. I just realized. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. It's gonna make me open that door. Okay, so I have to time it correctly, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. Are you kidding me? He wouldn't jump. Achievement, no more lives. Thanks. I've died nine times, I guess. Thanks. I'm a little bit angry now. I'm a little bit angry because I think it is better not on mouse and keyboard, but I, I didn't buy it for the console. I bought it for the PC so that I could easily record. Okay, do I have to rush here? Go for the love. Are you kidding me? Well... Okay, I made it through, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I was worried that it was like a timed thing since they can eat through metal. Whoa, look at this place. So they were still in construction. What does that say, Neko? Neko Corporation? And then that says something. Stop meowing, you're gonna attract them. I 
I hear something. Are they below me or something? Or, oh my goodness, are they over here? Look at how massive this is. Wow. Are you kidding me? I love fog in games and environments. Are they here? Hopefully not. Pack through the door, B12. <laughs> Whoa, what's that noise? Are they messing with the... I'm just listening to the sounds. Hey! There we go. Alright, we're going in here. Should we go in here yet? Okay, we're in here. I don't know if this is a good idea, guys. Maybe we should rethink this. It was a cute cat game. And now it's zombies. I'm seriously scared. Okay, we can get up here. I don't see any more memories. Okay, so I see a ton of things. So I have to get over there, right? But what's over there? Okay, game plan. We're going over here first. There's nothing! There's nothing! Oh my god, I can't jump. Go! Hurry up. Oh, we made it this far. Okay. <laughs> so there was nothing over there. And then we need to get over there now, but we can jump here at least. Hopefully get them over here. Let's left alt to get them over here. Come on, guys. There we go. Go, 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 for the love of everything good. Jump! Oh my, seriously? Okay, we're at least semi-safe here. Those guys suck. Seriously. Are there more here? There's gotta be, yeah. So what do we have to do? Okay. So we have to get them out of there. What's over here first? Oh, we have a memory here first. Okay. Remember. This is more action-packed than the other episodes, so I don't think I'm talking nearly as much because I have to focus. Necocore. They're responsible for the waste management. As trash from the upper level op overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. So it is a bacteria. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Okay, so my theory was kind of correct then. Okay, so have I missed that many memories, really? Or did I just miss two? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, right? We have to do this. Hack door. How far away can we get? Okay, so hack door. You go, B. You go, buddy. Are they over here? They're all coming over here. Hack it, hack it, hack it, hack it, hack it! Okay, we're safe. I think we are at least, right? Oh, okay, I can just leave them there. And now I'm up here. Cool, okay. Okay. It's like, fun. Oh no, this is not fun, this is not fun, this is not fun. 
Oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh, stop, stop. I cannot see. <laughs> you guys are awful. Did I miss a memory? I hope I don't miss anything while playing this. Okay, I don't see anything up here and there's a thing that we have to get. Are those them? No, those are just lights, aren't they? Okay. Oh, is this gonna attract more? Oh, are you kidding me? Do I just have to evade them until then? Okay, left alt, left alt. Space, space. Okay, come on, come on. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. <gasps> okay, go, 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 go. Do the elevator, come on, B12, go faster. Ew, look at them. They look like tar target grade, tardigrades. Can't, I don't think I'm saying that right. But they're like the little microbial things. I don't like it. Wow. I mean, I like it. I do like it. Those things are just um, stressful <laughs> to try and evade. And there's a whole lot of them. Okay, guys. We made it this far. Is this where we need to be? Because we needed to go high up. Or do we have to go higher? Use item. Transceiver? Do I have to use this? Actually, I'm going to explore really quick. We need to put the transceiver before we head back to the slums. Meow, I know. I just want to explore. So I can do that. I can't go up. Here it is. Put this transceiver on this antenna. Okay. B12 is telling me that there's nothing else to do. Transceiver, use item. We're putting the transceiver. Hey, it's lighting it up. This is gorgeous. And listen to that sound design too. Wow. <laughs> Come on, little kitty. We're on our way now. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city, it was it was meant to be a shelter. From? These look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. Maybe the scientist he was working with knew that it was better? Maybe that's why the humans left? I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected to the transmitter, we should be able to get help. All right, let's go. Is that it? Look at how gorgeous this is. Wow. Well, they were still under so much construction when the humans left. Hi there.
All right, we're back in the slums, part two with Momo. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code is, uh, to open it is quite simple. It is... Are you going to be able to remember that? <laughs> B12. Be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. Are those Momo? Oh, that must be the whole crew. So Doc and Zaltzabar and the other one and Momo. Oh, they look so happy. It was his little family. Oh, we got a memory. Back home too. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I, I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Oh, okay, so I maybe didn't miss memories. Maybe I can get him back. There's one, though, that's different. So maybe I missed one. Hopefully I can get it, though. That would be nice, right? If we could get all the memories. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Hmm, it was an H, I think. B12, you're supposed to know this. You're a computer. It worked. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to remember everything. Hey, that guy that was sleeping is gone now. The noise, the sound design is good. Sounds of the city. It's more quiet this time though. Is there no music? Hey, are you guys okay? My friend and I left tossing buckets at each other. Good, clean fun. Our downstairs neighbor disagrees, so we're taking a break right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to show him yet. I love the weather right now. There's not really weather right now. But whatever you say. Hey, this is... he's new. Swanito? Oh, he was the one napping. I could name those lights like real constellations. The big circle? The ball? No, needs more brainstorming. <laughs> Hello, what do you want? Um, I don't know. I don't need to give you anything yet, so I don't want anything. Hey, he's practicing his craft. <laughs> you look lost. What do you need? I don't think I need anything. I'm good. I was just interested. I have a chance to redeem myself. All right, guys, let's get all lined up. Are you kidding me? This stupid ball. I had a chance to redeem myself and I ruined it. I ruined it. You're still cleaning? I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Hey. He's new. That guy's cleaning the paint again. Sure is making uh, use of all that detergent. <laughs> Surgery 24-7. Please don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. So we get beats, bits and pieces of stories when you really explore. Oh, okay, we're at the bar. Okay. Hi, Momo. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Yay. Aw. <laughs> the animations are incredible. I'm coming. Aw. <laughs> you were his friend. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Hmm? I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zaltzabar? Momo? 
I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice out, Sabora. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, psh, we are safe. Psh, we found a way up. <laughs> Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh, very dangerous. Psh, zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zaltzabar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zaltzabar made it, there must be a way. Huh? Are you okay? Oh, this guy's got something to say. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. And he tried their luck in the past. It does not end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Thanks, dude. I like your vest. I believe in us, though. Hmm, <laughs> Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. Oh, is Doc the same one that made B12 the same one that is part of this group, I wonder? A few years ago, he went off to t test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Hmm. Or are there two Docs? Don't listen to Seamus, he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. It's in his notebook. Dot mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. We're breaking into an apartment. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Let's go. Hi there. Talk with Billy. No, I guess I don't want anything. Bye. <laughs> Momo, where are you going? Momo, don't leave me. I love you. I love you, Momo. Do you know that? Can I trip him? Let me trip you. I can't- Let me trip you. <laughs> I can't trip him like I can trip the other guy. Hi! Oh wait, can I make paint? Oh uh, no, I guess it's too dry now. Oh, there's paw prints! Do you guys see that? And he's mad. Oh, look at the paw prints, cute. Oh, I'm sorry, Momo. I was painting with my pretty little paws. Is this his apartment? All right, let us in. Hey, yo, we just wanna talk. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Come on, Seamus. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you? I think I have an idea. I'm gonna break into his apartment. I know exactly what you're going to ask me, and I'll do it. Oh, there we go. Here, take stock notebook and show it to Seamus. Okay, it contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and reestablish communication with the others. Okay, Momo, I love you. Do you love me? Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. I love you, Momo. Ha 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 ha. <gasps> I woke him up. What are you doing in here? I told you, get through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Um, I want to show you this. Go away. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? I, d I don't know. I'm gonna find it though. I'm gonna find it. If it's the last thing I do. And also find any secrets you might have. Hey, look at that. I'm just destroying everything. <laughs> I found it on the first try. I'm gonna knock the rest of the stuff down though. <laughs> oh, is that docking him? So cute. What is that? Translate? Time will tell. Time will tell what? That is the question though. Are these chocolate bars? 
Or c cigarettes, maybe? Okay, what's over here? Nothing. It's kind of cool that the sound woke him up. Hey there. Oh, time will tell. <gasps> Look at how smart. Okay, so that's two, five, one, one. Two, five, one, one. Talk with Seamus. It's two, five, one, one. I've never noticed that digit code before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. I know exactly what it is. It is two, five, one, one. Use it. Two. Two. Five. One, one. Big brain. Not really. I just found the code. Wow. <gasps> he has the little Zerks in here. I've seen uh, this room before. I can't believe I managed to hide it from me all this time. Oh, I've never seen this room before. That's Seamus talking. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed real life test. He went to the outside. He went outside of the slums and never came back. Hmm. Translate. Observations. Cute sounds. Never friendly. Old bacteria of human ta time. Uh, eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Oh, so like flashlights could potentially work? React well or badly? What does that say? Yeah, there's spider webs in here, guys. Deflexor blueprint. Concept... Concept light base handgun, low priority, visual appearance size, high priority, test in real condition, 20 zerk destroyed per second? That's a lot of zerk. What's in here? Nothing. Talk with Seamus. Find anything interesting in here? I'm trying. Is there anything in this box? <laughs> Me, I was in the box. Hey, what's this? Translate. Robots news headline. Zerk are officially no longer under control. And they now eat metal. Did they also he eat humans, I wonder? Ah, I found the tracker. Take broken tracker. Okay, so I found that. Seamus, can you talk to me now? I'm showing the tracker to B12. This tracker is meant to find a specific robot given the right coordinates. Fortunately, it's broken. We should find a way to repair it. Okay, so then let's show it to Seamus. Yes. I did. I found your father's broken tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe he can... We can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the right door for you. Oh, is it the nerdy guy? Elliot, I need your I need your help again. I need your help again, Elliot. I need a super nerd. Hi, yes, please. Uh, can you fix this? Oh, I always click the wrong button. Yes. Yes. Fix this, please. Oh, wow, that's great. A tracker. I recognize this model. It's Dohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this li little gadget, may I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I'm sorry, Elliot. This can't work when I'm shivering like this. I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. I did that last time. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. I wonder why the robots are getting so cold that they all need blankets. Oh, he looks cute. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. I, now I definitely can fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update and one more thing and voila. Gained a new item. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, I'm back. I have your tracker. <laughs> He's got a bucket hat on now. I have your tracker. Did you manage to fix the tracker? I did. I did. I did. I did. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. We did it, guys. 
We fixed the tracker. We got a ping! Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's fo follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find out where Papa went. All right. Do I have to go check in with Momo? It's auto-saving. Ha ha ha, let's go! He just walks around me. <laughs> Is he gonna yell at this guy? So you only yell at me. Look at my cute little paw prints. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Going with Seamus. We're having a good time. We're gonna go find his dad. I found one of these. <laughs> See, I'm getting better at, oh, I shouldn't have opened my mouth. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, I'm losing Seamus. Sorry, Seamus, I'm sorry. Look, he was looking out for me. I found a bag that I had to put on my head. Oh, is he out this door? Is that where we're going? That's where we're going, huh? It's here, huh, Seamus? This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure I need to know. Let's do this. Wait, uh, we're leaving now? I gotta pack. Uh-oh. Who's talking? Whoa. Is he gonna lock me out? I didn't get to talk to Momo again. I love you, Momo. Oh, we're just here now. Well, I'm gonna explore a little bit. Whoops, sorry. Made a noise. Wow, this is, this doesn't look good. Okay, what were we doing? Look at all these Zerk eggs, they will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Gained a new item. I'll open the door for you. Uh... Okay, I'm not sure that... I'm not sure I want you to. How do I turn on the light again? Apparently Doc is hiding somewhere in this area. We need to find him. Okay. I turned on the light. I'm scared. I don't like dealing with the Zerks. I'm just gonna be completely honest. <laughs> I mean, who would, but. I see a memory. Let's go get the memory, guys. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. And that the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. So we got that new memory. Ah. Huh. Oh, okay, so there's two more memories we can get in this area. I think that's what that means. Because two more are hi highlighted, so... Let's try and get those two memories if we can. Keep an eye peeled. Dead end. Oh no! No, okay guys, 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 let's talk about this. 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 I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. 
Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Go, 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 I'm dead. working. Oh my god, guys. <gasps> this is stressful. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my god, how do I get out of here? Oh, oh okay. Can they follow me? No. Ugh, those chase sequences are too stressful. Why does this cat know where we're going? <laughs> How does this cat know where we're going? Okay. Well, we made it. That's what matters. Yeah, at one point I couldn't move the camera anymore. Um, and I suddenly remembered that I had the chain jumps. What's going on? What's going on? <gasps> Am I controlling this? No! No! Every time this cat get hurt, I like this game a little bit less. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Obviously not, B12. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. I'm so angry. <laughs> Listen, you can't make a game about a cat and then make them get hurt every time. Aww, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, little kitty. If I could not have done that to you, I would not have. I hope you know that. There's an awful lot of cans. What's that noise? Is there like other forms of life around here? Yeah, there's like, um, there's like wildlife. Well, I guess there's plants too. But there were plants, there were some plants at least on the inside. So did the humans bring wildlife when they like colonized this area? That looks like the way to go, right? So let's go here. <gasps> or is this the way to go? Oh no, okay, hopefully this is not Doc. Please don't be Doc. Remember. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little college, fishing all day long. Is that what this guy did? Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least 100 years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? B12. I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first we should go find Doc. I... <sighs> I'm gonna sit here and do the animation. That makes me really nervous. I really hope that we get a happy ending for this game. I much prefer happy endings. Um, Cause I know it's dramatic and, and you wanna feel emotions and stuff like that, but I really hope we do get a little cottage on the outside with B12. At the very least, we survive with B12. Mm. This is beautiful. Isn't there something so, like, gorgeous about 
abandoned places, nature retaking over industrial spaces. The music is really good for this game. Okay guys, I think the music is repeating. I'm gonna go ahead and stop for now. Um, what I might do, I think I'm gonna cut that out for the actual playthrough and then put it at the end screen instead of my normal animation. Cause it's just so relaxing. Okay, so we have one more memory in this kind of space to get. So if you guys see them, keep an eye out. And I will too. So before we jump over, because I don't think we can get back, I'm going to go here. Can I go here? Come on. There's spaces. Okay. Wow. The Zerks have taken over. Isn't that the worry, too, with even today's world? Trying to um, genetically engineer things like viruses and bacteria because we could create something we have no idea like how it's going to evolve in the world or what it's going to do. I did... Um, I'm going to go back here first because that looks like it might break and keep us trapped over there. I did have, I do have a degree in biology, so I do have some knowledge um, and I specialized in uh, microbiology. I was really interested in that in college. So I do have some knowledge about all of that kind of stuff. Okay, I've explored everywhere. Let's go ahead and head over here now. Jump. Wow. Okay, so do we go down here? Oh, hey, what happened? Oh, there's an open window up there. Can I get up there at all? There's a lot of things that can make noise, which makes me nervous. What are you meowing at? What was that? Up in the sky. Okay, so we're here now. I think we just did a big circle, didn't we? Yeah, okay. So we've seen the environment, at least. I think we have to get up there somehow, though. Oh, I found a window. And cage desserts. Can you translate any of this for me, B12? Huh. Okay, and a knife on the top. A knife? No! <laughs> I've already used that meme. I can't see anything. I already used that meme in another one of the videos I did recently. It's a funny video. Hey, that's Doc! It's Doc- <gasps> <laughs> Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerk? Who are you? I like him. <laughs> that's my badge you're wearing. How'd you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look. Uh, you can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Ah, okay. So he's stuck here. I'm gonna walk on your keyboard. I'm gonna knock over your books. <laughs> I'm gonna knock over these books. Mission accomplished. Okay, let's explore some more. Oh, here's the other memory from this section. Glad we found it. I mean, I'm, I want to get all the memories. I'm 
I've seen these uh, humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around and making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now, they were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? I think so. Because, um... Well, one, they've evolved. They obviously seem to have some amount of emotion and want for living. I gotta scratch every single wall. Okay, so this is the light thing. What'd you say? Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing lying around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me, I'll show you what to do. Here, take this fuse, it's brand new. All right, turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix it, you should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Okay guys, I think what I'm gonna do is go fix this fuse and then end this episode here. But let's go fix the fuse first, keep it going. Okay, yellow cable, we are following the yellow cable, we go down. We go here. Wow, he's been here for a while. If that stuff is overgrown. Okay, and then we gotta run back to him after this. Okay, here we go. Use item. I'm scared. He got it to work. Is he gonna save me at the end? Oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Come on. Come on, little kitty. All right, we got this. <gasps> He's helping us. New achievement unlocked. Oh my God, help me. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. <gasps> Did I do it? I did it. Okay, that wasn't as hard. It's easier with him helping me. <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> we did it, Doc. We did it. <laughs> Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the deflexor is? It's definitely way out of here. Wait a minute. I may be able to mount this deflexor to your drone. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Doc. I like this guy. It worked! The deflexor is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off on such a small power source. If you use it too much, it can malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Aww. Okay, um, I changed my mind. I was gonna end it after fixing the generator. Now I want to help Doc get back and then I'll end the episode there. All right, Doc, let's go. How do I use it though? Okay, are we going? Is he gonna tell me how to use the defluxer? Take out all those zerks so we can get through. Hold, oh. Okay, oh, it's working great, but as, as I expected, it can overheat. Let's cool it for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. Okay. Cool. Let's go, Doc. Doc, did I tell you I love you? <laughs> I love you, Doc. Don't tell Momo I said that.
The switch doesn't work. Looks like the electricity's been cut. All right, what do I gotta do? Do I have to go up? Oh, I have to move this one to move that one, right? Okay, Doc's working over there and I'm working over here. We're moving the barrels today. Going over here with the stray. Oh, oh, there's a place up there. Hmm. Okay, so what's this gonna get us to? Meow. Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Where did that phrase come from? Should we go down? I'm scared. Let's check this out first. So we have this. Okay, I think we have to let Doc in. Uh oh, I hear the Zerks. <gasps> oh, 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 go away. <gasps> I killed him. I killed, oh my God, there's a lot of them. Please go away, please go away. Oh, it's overheated. Okay, take a break. Is it okay now? Okay, so that's not bad. That's not a bad charge at all. That's not a bad charge at all. Hey, hey, get off, Doc. Get off, Doc. Get off, Doc. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, left out. I have to shake his little booty. Oh, I didn't even realize one was on me. Okay, recharging, recharging, recharging. Recharging, recharging, recharge faster. <gasps> okay, <laughs> I did it that time. <laughs> they didn't attack him while I was doing that. You okay, Doc? <laughs> Phew, that was close. Let's go back home. Let's go back home, Doc. What? Do you guys hear that? Oh, they're outside. It's only a matter of time before they get in. Sorry, I had to knock over those boxes. Okay, I have a feeling they're gonna be here too. Are they not? We're safe? Let's go, buddy. Did I mention I love you, Doc? I love the character animations in this. It's literally so good. Okay, Doc's gonna let us in here. Why is it so foggy? Let's go. Cutscene? Robots could show so much emotion. Wow. Aww. We did good today, guys. We did good today. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see Seamus no longer alone. Now, we know we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy. Doc and Seamus look so happy. I think we did a good thing together. Yes, we did, B12. We really did. You survived the Zerks after all. Do you have the 10 cans you owe me? Ha 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 ha. This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody has survived in the dead city. Aw, oh, this is hope. We delivered hope today. Oh, and did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. What orange creature? Okay, that's exposition. Yeah, sure, I'm so happy he's back. Hey, Teddy, what's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. <laughs> Do you know that my son Seamus, it's thanks to him that I came back from that damn place. Aww. 
We did such a good thing. Okay, guys, I am going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for joining me for this third episode. I have a feeling we're going to try and save Momo's other friends in the other ones, but I, I don't have the time to record uh, anymore today, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like the rest of my content, consider subscribing to my channel and leave me a comment down below letting me know how you're enjoying this beautiful series. Uh, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye! Thank <laughs> you.